The Spiritual Law God is remembered when there is distress, not in happiness. Morley Notes, March 5th, 2022 God is reciprocal. If you remember him, he responds. The greater your sincerity and the intensity of your desire for him, the more tangible is his response. When God comes, catch hold of his hand. From not knowing him, you now know him. He has revealed himself to you and made you his own in order to give you your inheritance. To take birth means to come into relationship. All religious activities, rituals, studies, etc. are for the purpose of extricating themselves from hell. Their isolation and separation from God have caused their distress. Knowing God implies knowing what is in his soul. The knowledge of the creator and the creation, the laws of karma, the direction of time, sato, rajo, tamo, and the valuable confluence age of rising, accumulating, and enriching the self and the world on all levels. God is the creator of heaven, but not everyone will go there. A limited number will take the inheritance and go there. People of all the religions will go to the world of liberation. Of course, Everyone should claim this inheritance, but they do not. They fail to recognize the truth. Truth is simple. Every Kalpa, you meet God, you take the inheritance. Then, over the course of time, you lose it. Then, you gain it once again. This continues indefinitely. Although this information is new, for you it feels very familiar. Every Kalpa, you lose the kingdom and then regain it. You are the ones who take the full complement of 84 births and this is the last of your many lives. From the ocean of milk and honey, you slipped into the ocean of poison. This is symbolic. Now the Father has come to purify you once again. You were pure, but got corrupted by materialism. You did not aspire to become the masters of heaven. The Father manifested himself spontaneously. He has come to fulfill your desire to go to heaven. So now you must acquire this desire for heaven. Devotees of all forms, including sannyasis, speak of God, but do not know who he is. They have taken the symbols to be real and the realities to be symbolic. They are unable to understand the meaning of anything. Maya Ravan, the acquisition of information on the basis of sense perception, gives kumat, wrong information. The father gives you sumat, correct information. Now you are able to discriminate
between true and false information. You were informed by false concepts and consequently you had no desire for heaven. False concepts refer to the omnipresence of God, the idea of progress, incorrect understanding about the philosophy of karma, reincarnation, etc. And therefore, your desire was for nirvana. Now that you have correct information, you desire heaven. This implies that your effort is to take power from God, to get purified, and to perform only pure karma, which causes global transformation. The whole world changes from hell into heaven. Baba has revealed a new motivation within you. The Father gives you the most valuable possible information. However, there is a saying that even if Brahma himself would appear and give knowledge, they still would not take it up. There is strong resistance to adopting anything new. People who are stuck in traditions are incapable of being open-minded or giving attention to anything that does not come from the relatively recent past. All this incorrect religious philosophy was created in the 7th century at the beginning of the Iron Age. The majority of BKs assume that it comes from the beginning of the Copper Age, but no one checks. People will see clearly once you become complete and they will recognize you. At the moment, you oscillate between ecstasy and death. You are unstable. You fly high, then get blasted and shot down by Maya. You get tangled in concepts from Ravan and leave Srimat. Then you end up screaming in distress. Be careful at each step. Srimat carries you forward and profits you. God has awakened in you the desire to become Lakshmi Narayan through following Srimat. You are becoming what Brahma is becoming. Maya obstructs your opportunities to follow Srimat by getting you to make wrong choices at key moments. You get too busy to take the father's advice. You took a hit and the father can do nothing about it. You must take care at each moment. There are many strategies you can use for living with others without getting taken down by Maya. Stay pure, stay free from attachment, do not get caught by material attractions and repulsions. All your relationships are essentially fraternal. You have no other obligation. Brothers and sisters cannot marry each other. This is not the law. Other people deplore this new custom of classifying everyone as brothers and sisters. They are completely unable to perceive or comprehend this. But if this truth were understood, it would prevent all forms of criminal assault against women. God says, everything that I am teaching you will vanish. 
Therefore, it is not possible that this information could be passed down from the ancestors through the ages. This means the two forms of acquiring information that people believe in are unreliable. Neither can truth be received from the ancestors and scriptures, nor can it be gleaned through scientific inquiry, because science deals only with physical matter. Religion deals with subtle matter. God says, I am teaching you Raj Yoga, and once the kingdom is established, all this will be destroyed. The Pandavas establish the kingdom. Deities are masters of the pure world. Monsters are masters of the impure world. At the confluence age, there is conflict between those who love God and those who love power, property, position and protection. That means those who are both greedy and cowardly. However, there is no possibility for deities and monsters to meet, let alone to engage in war. This is the Rudra Gyan Yagya. Women are assaulted and raped. Overcome your lust and you will reach heaven. Yet, people get terrified when they hear about men and women who live together in purity. Women from poor families who wish to remain celibate get thrown out of the house and vilified by society, while women from wealthy families get held in captivity and brutalized. Women need to be very brave. You women who escape from domestic violence need to detach yourselves emotionally from your aggressors. You must be very careful to remain detached and independent. If you can do this, God will place you in his eyes and send you to heaven. You souls get bound together by karmic bondages, but you will be released from this through your efforts to remain in remembrance of God. If you do not do this, you will not get released. At the time of reckoning, there is severe pain before you are finally released. The dharma of the soul is silence. For how long will you sit in a disembodied state like sannyasis? They have to come into action eventually. We are karma yogis. Baba says, remain in my remembrance and the chains of your karmic bondages will get melted in the fire of yoga. Om Shanti.